Asalaamu Alaikum guys, Ifan back again with another video and today uh, what we will be looking at is some of the best practices when uh, setting up your Excel uh, spreadsheets. Now uh, a lot of times you want uh, subtotals showing up or grand totals showing up. Now by, when I say subtotals, uh, now what I mean is using the subtotal uh, function which actually uh, does totals or sums or counts of the visible cells and if you just use sum uh, regardless whether a cell or a row uh, or a column is uh, visible or hidden it will still add those uh, the values in those uh, cells uh, the subtool command uh, function uh, only looks at the visible cells but regardless uh, whether you're using uh, subtotals uh, or totals uh, in today's video, uh, what we are going to be looking at is uh, what's the, one of the best ways of uh, doing that. So uh, let's get started. Uh, let me just freeze this. Okay, now this is uh, the spreadsheet that we used. Uh, we have used this a few times earlier, and this is the same uh, spreadsheet that uh, lists down the sales of. Um, products to fast food uh, restaurants and pizza parlors in the New York State uh, area. Um, we have in this column we have customers, products, the order date, revenue, cost of goods sold and so on and so forth. Now supposing what you want to do is you want to add up, have a total and subtotal of revenue and the cost of goods sold. Now. One way of doing this is you could put them at the bottom down here, but you notice what happens every time you go down, you're, you're losing sight of the data that's already there. Uh, so in this video, what I'm going to be showing is what, what is one of the best practices of, uh, you know, of where to put the total of the, the uh, subtotal. And funny enough, instead of putting at the bottom where it's logical, normally we would put the total at the bottom of the column. Uh, what I recommend is putting them at the top. Now, let me show you. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to insert a few blank uh, rows up here to put those uh, uh, the grand total and sub totals up here. Okay. Now, supposing, uh, like I said, you you want to add up revenue and the cost of goods sold. So let's put. Uh, Let's say subtotal and grand total. Okay, now what we are going to be doing is we'll use the subtotal function here and we are adding comma the first cell all the way down to the last cell, cross parenthesis. Okay and we are going to just copy and paste this formula across on the next uh, cell next cell. so now this actually is summing up the revenue of all the visible rows and this is summing up all the uh, cost of goods sold of the cells that are visible and now what we'll do is we'll also just do a grand total so basically if what it will do is it will add them up regardless whether they are visible or not and since everything is visible right now you see the grand total and the subtotal are essentially uh, you know the same okay now you would say why would you want to put this at the top the reason why I would want to put this at the top is see when I scroll uh, the again you see that the total line scrolls out of sight so what I'm and and this heading the co the column headings also is going out of sight. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting a cursor here and I'm going to go to view, freeze pans and I'm going to freeze it. Okay. So now when I go up or down, that this part here is always locked. So you have always a clear view of the total and the subtotal. Now let's see how the subtotal would work. Say for example, I'm going to put a, uh, a filter and I am going to see what was the total sales for pizza. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna uncheck French fries and tomato ketchup and just leave pizza clicked, checked, sorry. There you go. See, now the grand total is still showing what the total revenue was for the company, but the subtotal is showing the revenue for the visible sales only. So you, you can see what the subtotal for pizza is. And similarly, the cost of goods sold. Okay, now when you, um, when you scroll, it the, the total line stays visible all the time. Now let's uh, change this to, I'm gonna select all. And let's see, sales month, say for example, month of December regardless of the year you want to see what was sale or sales in the month of December regard well that won't make any sense so let's not do that um, let's say you know the fiscal year 2013-14 okay now you see uh, the total revenue for 2013-14 was the Three thousand uh, three three point six million. Total cost of goods sold was uh, two point eight million. And regardless of which year it is, the total sales for the company, total revenue for the company, for all the years, for all the products, for all the areas, was twenty one point six million. And for cost of goods sold is sixteen point six million. I'm just gonna uh, uncheck that. So yeah, uncheck all those. So I'm gonna select all the fiscal years. Now what you can also do is. If you want to do uh, sales area, for example, let's say Greenwich Village. Now, you can see, uh, just so happens that uh, all the dealers in Greenwich Village wanted tomato ketchup, but the total revenue you got from this one area was 4.1 million. Uh, and that those pro the products cost you about 3.1 million, so you made the profit, uh, the, the the gross profit was about about a million uh, from Greenwich. What you can also do is, say for example, you want to select a particular salesperson. Say John. Let's see what how John performed. The total revenue that he was able to generate was seven point six million, and th that seven point six million came from goods sold uh, worth of 5.8 million. So that's the beauty. Now I'm going to scroll up and down. You see how this stays stationary, the, the column heading stays stationary. And I was able to do that by, first of all, putting the totals and the subtotals at the top, instead of putting them at the bottom, as you know, normally would, and then locking uh, this row and other rows above that. So that was a, a quick way to uh, uh, show you what uh, the best practices of uh, putting the totals and the uh, subtotals is. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you uh, would like to see more videos, uh, again, subscribe to the, to the channel. And uh, also, uh, if, if there's any particular topic that you would want to see covered, uh, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and uh, thank you.